Insulin is an important medication in the treatment of diabetes. Insulin pens allow for an easy and convenient way to accurately give insulin injections. Let's see how a certified diabetes educator shows a patient how to use an insulin pen. Miranda, I see that your doctor has prescribed the insulin pen. It's a really convenient way for you to take your medicine to control your diabetes. It looks like a ballpoint pen. Yeah, it kind of does, except you can't write with it. Do you use the pen only once? Well, you use your insulin needle only once, but you could get multiple doses of insulin from your one pen. Okay, let's do this. All right, so we'll get started by prepping your pen. First, you wanna wash your hands with some soap and water, and then you're gonna remove the cover. You take your alcohol swab and you clean off the rubber stopper. Your insulin is clear. If you were taking a different type of insulin that was cloudy, you'd wanna roll it in your hands or turn it end on end about 10 times to mix it up. Then you take your pen needle and you remove the paper tab. You're gonna push that onto your pen. You dial to a dose of two units because we wanna prime any air pockets out that might be in the cartridge. So we do that by pointing the needle in the air tapping on the side. You're going to remove your outer cover and then you're going to remove your inner cover and then we press on the dose knob to see some insulin come out the end. And that's priming your pen. So do you understand the priming part? I think I do. I turn the knob to two. I hold the pen up. I tap on it to get the air pockets up. I take the cap off to expose the needle and then I push the dose knob until I see a little bit of insulin and that means it's primed. Exactly. Okay. All right, now we can get started with the injection part. Is it gonna hurt? No, it won't. But it does take some getting used to, so we can get started and you'll see. Okay. All right. So your doctor has prescribed a dose of 10 units. We're gonna dial to 10. Then you wanna find a good spot to take your injection. The belly works best, but you wanna stay about two inches away from your belly button. You also could use the upper back part of your arm, the top of your thigh, or your bottom. And you wanna rotate your sight one inch from the last area that you used. Okay. So wipe the area with your alcohol swab. Then you're going to curl your fingers around the upper part of your pen, but keep your thumb above the dose knob. Pinch the area you're going to inject into, and you go straight in at a 90 degree angle with the dose window facing you. You release your pinch, and then as you press down on the dose knob, when you see it go back to zero, you're going to count to 10 seconds, and then pull it straight out. And that's taking an injection. What if there's blood? Usually you don't see any, but in case you did, you could take a tissue and hold that for a few minutes and that stops it. What do you do with the old needles? That's a good question. You take your outer cap, you're going to click that on, and you untwist it, and then you're going to dispose of it in an empty medicine bottle, an empty bleach bottle, something thick plastic with a twist-on lid to secure it. And then you're going to cover it back up with your outer cap. That really seems like an easy way for me to get my insulin. It really is. I think you're really going to like the insulin pen. Remember, it's very important to ask your doctor, pharmacist, or certified diabetes educator how to store and maintain your particular type of insulin. Knowing how to correctly use an insulin pen is an important part of your overall diabetes treatment. If you have any questions about insulin or the pen, talk to your doctor, your certified diabetes educator, or pharmacist. I'm Dr. Daron Schneider, and this has been another tip to help you live a healthier life.